Exhausting, but it was also amazing. I mean, I don't know. I've, I've seen like so many, so much positive vibes here. I mean, people coming together, and uh, I just want to ask, how many people have you met? Like everyone, let's think about how many people have you met from different countries, different communities. Yeah, I mean, everyone came together, and I don't know how to put it into words. On food. Exhaust, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Amaze balls. <laughs> Personally, I think during the last three days, I talked to about um, 67 people. <laughs> I just make that up. I don't know. <laughs> so, um, so uh, what we want to do now? So, um, we would like to have another big round of applause for everyone. A little bit formal, we would like to thank our sponsors of this year, which are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's start, of course, with Red Hat, and uh, we've all seen the red uh, hats everywhere. And, uh, and so that was that was great, uh, the support here. And like, I'm amazed, like, and what and how many different projects Red Hat people are working. And uh, uh, people who I knew who weren't at Red Hat before they are at Red Hat now. So, um, like, uh, I'm as a small, like, we are as a small company. We wonder how we can also get so many amazing people into our company. All my friends are going to Red Hat. I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but like, uh, they deserve it and they de uh, support events like these. So, thank you very much uh, to Red Hat for making everything here possible and, and giving also uh, so much personal support. Harris, thank you very much. And then, of course, we would like to thank uh, Google, who have been an amazing sponsor, not just of the uh, FOSS Asia uh, event, also of the FOSS Asia organization. And we are running Google Summer of Code, as you know. We are running Google Code, and many people here in this room are uh, actually mentors. Um, I hope in future we also see more of the students here uh, at, uh, of Google Code and at the event. We had Google Summer of Code students of FOSS Asia here. Maybe just wave with your hands, actually, to us. They made an, a, an amazing uh, 3D fashion app and uh, we hope to see more of these uh, cool projects this year. Then I would also like to uh, thank uh, Uptime for their great support from Japan with uh, the Postgres community. <laughs> it was just a great experience because we asked Satoshi how can we bring in more people from Japan, how we can we bring in like uh, sponsors uh, for Voss Asia so we are able to, to run everything and Satoshi just said, listen, let's not have a long discussion, I will just uh, help you guys, I have a company, we are working with open source and we just want to support, this is great. So Satoshi really like from one day to the other, he just decided to, to come in and do this, thank you very much. Then I would like to... I'd like to uh, thank Treasure Data, um, Masahiro, thank you very much. Um, so Treasure Data is uh, from the US uh, in Mountain View, but you uh, have a lot of uh, teams all over the world. You have different people that you meet online. So in a way, you give the image of North Asia, like bringing everyone together. And that's why we're very happy to have you here. Thank you. Then uh, MBM, which is our own company, of course we sponsor. And uh, I would like also like to thank uh, Mozilla. Where are the Mozillians? Upstairs. Oh. <laughs> They're having such a great time upstairs, they don't want to leave, they still want to talk about Mozilla. <laughs> okay, so the Mozilla phones are just uh, fantastic because they can't stop working. And uh, we hope to see all that as we're all using uh, their work. So uh, let's thank Mozilla and let's get the
Next, it's like uh, uh, the Python Software Foundation. Kushal Das, director of the Python Foundation, is the behind. Great uh, track. How was the Python track? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so let's give a round of applause for the Python track. Then uh, MySQL was a sponsor. We were sitting here in front, and it seemed like a lot of people had specific questions. Um, so that seemed to work out well as well. Are the Py uh, MySQL folks still here? I don't see them. Okay, they had to leave already, but thanks to MySQL. <laughs> then I would also like to name all together in one uh, row. Ace was a sponsor. They provide the great web space. NUS Enterprise provided us with the space here. JFD Asia, Asia was a great support with Main, who was also founder of the Hackerspace. Silicon Straits uh, hosted the Python track. Hackerspace is hosting something tonight, right? And uh, Linux Pilot and E27 were media partners. Thank you to them as well. These were the sponsors. We had quite a lot of sponsors, but by the way, for next year and for the organization, we are always looking to more. And now I hand over back to you for the community part. <laughs> yes, so I would like to invite all the Force Asia team members to come on stage. Harris is just in every, uh, you know, every category, right? A bit like Roland. Harris, please. Saying little. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
Don't shy away from finding the right words, Justin. You're known for always finding the right words. Thank you. <laughs> So, uh, so, so this is great, and uh, I think we really captured the spirit of open source here in Singapore, and uh, um, I feel a lot inspired. So, um, I would like to make a, a short wrap up um, uh, about what uh, what went on. Um, Justin, how many people participated in, in this event? Like, uh, I think it's difficult to get the exact numbers, but uh, what could you see so far? Well, um, in terms of the total registrations. Uh, we actually got about 900 over registrations. I think it's 917, something like that. Right? Right? But out of the 917, how many people actually turned up? Ah, uh, that's the question that we want to know, right? So um, I would say, based on our numbers and everything, it's probably about six, seven hundred. But we haven't really collated everything together yet, but it's about that number. So it's a pretty good number, right? It's about um, 20, 20%, 20 30% drop off, which is pretty good, right? And it's all because of you guys. It's all because of you guys and all the speakers who have created all that great content, that fantastic content, right, for Force Asia. So thank you very much. A round of applause for all the speakers. <laughs> yes, it's actually we open the floor for the speaker. And A, Flor, uh, uh, Roland is also one of our speakers. He would like to say something. With Roland and Harish, we are never sure in what category to put them. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where should we put the picture? Because it would just be everywhere. Organizers, speakers, community, uh, sponsors. Uh, you guys, both of you, just do so, so much. I don't know. What do you say about the event? Uh. It's a bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> the, the, and well, yeah, I guess the highlight for me, as probably everyone can guess, was uh, Friday's guest of honour. Uh, that was extraordinary. I wasn't sure I was going to get a yes, and he did. Uh, for those who weren't here, Dr. Bella Krishnan, the Smart Nation Minister and Environment Minister, uh, turned up and wowed the room. Uh, that was amazing, and I would perhaps sort of reiterate what he's trying to encourage this community to do, which is start doing useful stuff, be a little bit brave, step out and do things that maybe aren't obvious. So I that, think he said whole... something like, be yeah, more yeah. millionaires. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was it. That was, that was the important bit. Everyone's to do is please become a millionaire. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that, that, from the standpoint of the sustainability of open source as a means of producing technology, software, hardware, otherwise, that's, we're being reflected about it, but that's actually a really big deal. And uh, so I, you know, anyway, I'm rambling and I'm tired. Um, <laughs> the other than that, I think the fact that um, despite the slightly chaotic method of organization that we ended up employing, uh, the whole thing went very smoothly. And so I'm, I'm really pleased about that. That was, you know, I had gone through things which went much worse. So this was uh, much enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to, after some sleep, doing it all again. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Uh, it, it's a it's a it's a coming of age in many ways, right? So uh, from from the previous years of doing uh, the Linux couple Linux conference and to see Force Asia, which is more than just a Linux space, uh, I think that's something which is uh, to me that's. A coming of age. So we have hit mainstream. <laughs> okay? We now need to do the next level. Whatever the next level means. <laughs> it's, I guess it's getting a million dollar uh, paycheck for all of us. So, so that's the target. So I think that has to be the next year's hashtag, right? It's million dollar hashtag. So, but you know, it's, it's remarkable. I'm thrilled to see so many people. And you know, whether it's Red Hat or not Red Hat, you know, this is something I would have done anyway. So I think that's the key thing because it's, it's really building a community and there's an enormous opportunity. And I think those who attended my earlier session about building the emergency network, that is where a lot of the things that we need to do that needs to be done. Uh, creating systems, especially with IoT stuff, we don't know what is going to fail, so we need to make sure we square this out. So a bunch of work needs to be done. 
let's pat on the shoulders, uh, on the backs and say, well, job well done. Now the next work starts tomorrow. So let's have fun together and you know, I, I, I thank you very much for the participation. the last uh, three days we received a lot of feedback from the speakers also the participants a lot of things went wrong like we didn't start on time the speaker didn't show up and then so many rooms and basically they didn't know where to go we changed the room all the time so a lot a lot of things that uh, people are not uh, so happy about but we don't want to hear this <laughs> so, so we will send out a feedback form tonight. If you have any ideas to help us how to improve the event for next year, please feel free to write in anything that you want to say. But for now, we only have time for one speaker to say something very positive, very nice word before, <laughs> before to, we start to clean up the, the place. So do you guys nominate anyone? I have one person in mind. If you guys don't have any ideas, so I will tell the person, I want the person to go onto the stage. Anyone want to say? No one? So I would like to invite you to come here. To say <laughs> This is my first time in Asia ever, first time in Singapore, it's amazing, uh, I've met so many amazing people here, I really wanted to come here because I've gone to a lot of open source conferences in North America and started to see the same people all the time and I really wanted to like meet new people and hear about new projects and, and just see the perspective of open source projects from a totally different culture, totally different set of issues and, and things that we're trying to solve so it's really good for all of us to always be mixing together get outside your comfort zone talk to people in projects that you might not use that you probably still learn something from how those projects work so that's why i'm here uh, I, I tried to spread my little bit of git knowledge and hopefully some new little git user groups pop up all, all around the world and um let me know if i can help with that in any way and yeah, I'd just like to say that she's amazing, all these people are amazing that made this all happen. Mario, he ran away, no, he's still there. So, thank you so much for making it easy and possible for so many people from around the world to come together. And a lot of good ideas are gonna come out of these three days. There's gonna be like a wall of GitHub commits that happen, and mailing list messages, and new features, and so, that's what pushes the community forward, is, is these kind of events, and the face-to-face -face meetings are really important, and I value these a lot, so thank you. Okay, so um, uh, let's give it a shot, and actually, like, uh, it looks like some of you can't get enough. <laughs> they just like want to stay longer, they want to continue more talks, more workshops, uh, coding, hacking, sitting together. And it, no, don't worry, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, um, the hackerspace, um, who's here from the hackerspace? Uh, hackerspace folks, yeah, raise your hand. So, uh, the hackerspace runs a friendly session uh, uh, tonight. Uh, so you can just go there, hang out, meet more people of the local community or some people who you have met already and, and just continue hacking and of course you can be... How do we get there? How do we get there, Justin? Good question. <laughs> 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 Actually, Valentine, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you walk towards one north and then you go to Bona Vista, which is on the green line and you take it straight all the way to Lavender and... Okay, so Valentine, he is at the Hackers Bay almost every single day throughout the year, maybe 300 days a year, and he still cannot explain to you how to get there. I can explain to you. Oh my god, you suck. <laughs> I am Justin. One of the co-founders of Hackers Bay. <laughs> um, so essentially, how do you get there? You take the MRT, like he said, go all the way to Lavender, 
the address, all take it down, all take it down while you have Wi Fi still. Hackerspace.sg. No, no, it's <laughs> three, get four. The Google map. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just search hackerspace.sg. Okay, hackerspace SG. There's no dot in there, right? And get the Google Maps. But those people who don't have the Google Maps, it's 344 King George Building. Is there a B on there? Yeah, uh, it's B the, or C. The website is hackerspace.sg. Oh, yeah. Okay, whatever. Anyway, so <laughs> how do you get there? For those people who have no internet, how do you get there? Once you reach Lavender, you go out the station, you turn left, you go out, you turn left again, go up the escalator, turn right, <laughs> go straight. <laughs> go straight all the way down, right? Turn left, turn right, go all the way straight down and reach there. <laughs> was that the way? Really? Yes, 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 it is. You must, you must for instructions. I vouch for that. You must run instruction. <laughs> so fun. And going up the stairs. When you, when you when you get to the really large neem tree, you've gone too far, you better come yes, down. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the nymph tree, yes. Okay, so there's a meetup group and in the meetup group you can see everyone who signed up for the session tonight. Maybe you exchange telephone numbers and uh, uh, like so in case you don't know how to get there or you, you lose your way. Yeah? Oh, you can just go home and sleep to avoid it. <laughs> so, okay, so this is great. And uh, yeah, the question now, uh, where is it next time? When is it again? Oh, for Singapore. No! Yeah! <laughs> Justin is looking forward to more exhausting uh, 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 like your work here. And so it's again in Singapore, we, before we changed uh, more often, but we decided this time, we set up everything here nicely and we want to run it again. Uh, we have a great community here, we have great co-organizers, so um, uh, let's continue it for a uh, for year or like let's decide next year what we do next year, the year after, you understand. So um, uh, let's do it next year in Singapore again, it's been an awesome experience. And uh, when is it? It's uh, 18th to 20th of March. So again, in the middle of uh, March. So easy to remember. Please all join us uh, next year again. Apart from that, Fast Asia is also organizing meetups in different places like Dubai or Beijing. We had a few meetups. And we are open to announce any projects or something that you have on our uh, community channels. Please talk to Hong Fook about that. Uh, we also have like uh, different core programs. Please sign up for that. Um, there are big chances for you guys. Okay, so that's the end. And you have something uh, for the end. What we can do next? Uh, I need to clean now. If you want to stay. Yes. <laughs> 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 get karma help and clean up. The whole Zilla guys are done. Oh, Mozilla, that's why I helped. Mozilla guys. Mozilla guys. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll give you one room. minute and as... Uh, <coughs> Seriously? Like, yes, I'll give you a minute. No, maybe they don't really want to go. It's okay, they arrived just in time to clean. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And what is Shuka saying? So, actually, just set the wrapper and you can just say how were well the Mozilla sessions, how did it go, um, how do you like the community in uh, Singapore and everywhere around the, uh, the world who were here. Ma Michael, uh, where are you from? Switzerland. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. How did it go on the Mozilla trip up there? Was the coffee good? <laughs> we really like the coffee, yeah. So, um, yeah, first of all, thanks to everyone involved from the organization. It was great. Um, the Mozilla track was going pretty good. We really enjoyed having you there. I hope you enjoyed it too. Um, I could have prepared something, but eh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Can you give a few final words? Is there anything I want to tell them? Yes. You said that they're yeah. awesome? Yeah. Are yes. yes, he wants to tell you something. So, um, just as one of the sponsors, uh, uh, myself from Mozilla, wanted to thank uh, everyone, especially the organizers, uh, um, for making a great event uh, and yeah it's been uh, really awesome to see this community uh, been involved in open source in Asia for many years but uh, this is a, a very special gathering so thank you very much
you are late, so you need not have to say all the organizers, but it's okay. You can look up on Flickr. Can we have a lot of um, photos on Force Asia Flickr? And um, so let's finish for the day. And we um, I, I have a question. Yes. So a lot of participants have actually asked me all the videos and photos that are being taken. Thank how you. do they how do they get in contact or how is it going to be informed? Um, all the all of the uh, participants have actually asked about the about all the videos and photos that have been taken here uh, because they would all like to either get some of the video talks that they didn't that they didn't attend maybe see them online. Actually, my question is for the organizers um, uh, to, to to suggest a way in which because I've got a personal YouTube account where I most likely will upload a lot of the stuff, but in order to get the word out, maybe if I get in touch with you guys, then you can inform everybody who's got tickets to the event, to send them a blast out um, on where all the slides, slides, um, all of the photos, and all of the video material, this is all the media for the event. Maybe you can notify them in one week's time where it all is, because the video will also take like a week or more to produce. Sure. Okay, so uh, many have seen it already. Um, actually, we are not uh, just uh, uh, using one channel, we are using different channels. And for example, there's a Force Asia Flickr account, but you can just use uh, Force Asia as a hashtag uh, and, and search for it usually. Instagram yeah. and yeah. Instagram Twitter everywhere. And Facebook, yeah. it's all So, uh, also on Twitter, as a hashtag regarding the videos. Different people make videos. Michael Chang was probably <coughs> doing one video. We have a YouTube channel of Force Asia. Maybe we can post it there, but we could also post it on, on uh, Python Vimeo. Okay. Um, and good. Python stuff is up already, uh, you can say something in the moment, but I would also say maybe we can post it on a server that we link through the First Asia website uh, of 2015, which will be available then under 2015.forceasia.org, and everything will be linked there uh, from in, in a few days. Okay. Yeah? But Michael, Michael do you have some more yeah. information here. So uh, we the videos for the Python track as as well as the DevOps track and maybe the videos that you'll be doing, uh, we're putting it up on engineers.sg. Take out this URL. Engineers.sg is a curated uh, YouTube channel right now, which has all the other little videos, of, not just on Force Asia, but of videos that are taken in the Singapore community. So if you want to find out more about the tech community in Singapore, the like, like the Ruby community. JavaScript community, they have all, all, all the videos are pretty much all, all, all up there, so you can check them out. What was the URL? Engineers. Engineers. Sg. Thank you. Right. So it's going to be. By him. Uh, yeah, I, I did it. So I'm the one to blame. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. So thanks a lot, Michael. And uh, it's been awesome. We're really looking forward to your videos. And uh, I would say one of the last applause for our video guys who took so. Long. Uh, where's Michael? Where is he? Michael Cannon now. Get right outside. Get Michael right. Cannon, please come inside. You didn't get your applause. <laughs> Michael. Uh, Michael Cannon. Uh, Michael yeah. Cannon. You didn't yeah. get your applause from the Yeah, uh, and taking lots of photos of everyone. Yeah. So we really appreciate that to have that memory. My pleasure. So I think that was enough talk and applauding. Uh, applauding. Everyone is awake now and can help now to clean up things. So what is there to do? What is there to do? Second please, floor. Uh, yeah, we will clean the floor at the end. But please check out that we pick up the trash everywhere, uh, if possible. And there are a lot of uh, stickers on the walls that we put up, like to stick the. Um, stick up like where are events or what is going on and actually why did we do that before because we weren't allowed to do that yeah so uh, so we have to take off everything as much as possible please go around if you see a sticker or something or like uh, some papers on the wall please just take it off and uh, throw it in the rubbish bin and like help us to clean the place yeah apart from that please uh, before you go, uh, uh, Martin had a question who's staying for the next few days still in Singapore so that we know who to connect with yeah Maybe we can have a meet up in the hackerspace and get together. Uh, one thing I'd like to suggest, uh, especially for those who are in Singapore for the first time, um, to do a little bit outdoor exploring and uh, explore the Singapore jungle. And I don't mean the urban jungle, but the real jungle. Like, uh, we'll be in the jungle or we'll be in the jungle? We'll see. We, we, we need to make a decision on that. But uh, if, if people are interested in outdoors, um, we, uh, I'd like to uh, uh, suggest that we do that. 
do pull vouch for Pula Ube. Uh, yes. And, and also, um, tonight, if anybody is interested in music, um, I'll be exploring some uh, Irish folk at uh, one place. And uh, um, there may be a chance where I get to play, um, but uh, if you, um, we'll see. I don't know what the program is, so um, if you guys want to follow me along, uh, just uh, um, it's on Clark Quay at uh, Molly Malone. Um, but uh, I don't know the details yet, so we'll just go there in the evening and see what happens. Check the hashtag. Check down Fosse. Okay. Thanks a lot. That's a wrap up, and just continue. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.